Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and this is another installment of this uh, video series where we are creating our turtle graphics. So in the last video we created our game board, we updated the array, uh, displayed everything uh, hopefully correctly and uh, now we can revisit our uh, walk, our turtle walking. Uh, we have our current position already calculated but before that, we also have to decide whether we are drawing or we, if we are just updating the position. So before we update the position, we can do if to draw. If this is true, remember we set it over here to true or false. So if it's true, if we are drawing, then uh, let's call the update game board array. And for north and south, we will be calling the update game board array X. Now these are um, um, static methods, so we call them directly. So we will do game board dot update game board x because we are moving north in this in this case, and what we are passing now it's uh, we can see what it expects. So it expects start. Now the sp starting position is our position X. That's our current position before we updated to our new position after we walk. That's, uh, this is basically our current position just before we move. So that's our position X. The iteration, that's the number of spaces we are moving. And the increment, we are moving up. Again, we are moving closer to zero so we want to multiply uh, by negative one we want to pass negative one because we are subtracting the values from the spaces the, the number of spaces rather than adding that which would be the case when we go south and the constant is uh, the value that doesn't change that's the value of our position or the part of the position that doesn't change since we are only moving up and down what doesn't change is the position y because we are moving along the same column which is y uh, so uh, I'm gonna copy paste it and place it to our south except this one will have plus one and I'll specify plus one just so it's uh, clear what we are doing here and on our east now we are moving uh, to the right, so our starting position is actually y, that's, our, that's the position of the column that we are moving, because x is the number, is the row we are in, and we remain in that row because we are just moving to the right. So the only thing that changes are the columns that we are moving. So we have the spaces. Um, now we are moving to the right away from the uh, from the zero coordinates, so we will add one, and the position will be position x. And I'll copy paste this into our west, and this one will be the same, except since we are moving to the left, uh, we will deduct negative one. We want to move to the zeros. All right, so um, that's our move, but uh, this this will only. Uh, execute if we validate our move so let's let's do just that let's validate our move and the thing uh, is I need to pass something there and it's the direction I'm getting the direction into this method through the argument here so uh, and the spaces which again I'm getting as an argument into my walk method so I'm just simply passing them into the validate move as a uh, as arguments for that method as well. So we will do what does it expect? So it now expects the all directions that directions, I'll call it direction, and, uh, in, in, and the uh, integer spaces, obviously. Integer spaces. So um, Integer spaces. Uh, let me see. 
So let me just put a comment there. Uh, come on. I think I'm short a bracket. If I make this one, is this one? That's correct. This one, yeah, okay, so that should work now. All right, so I have my my method. Uh, I'm telling you these brackets, they're killing me. So moving up or left, that basically means we subtract spaces. Down or right, we add spaces. Now think about it, we are moving if you are moving up, which is uh, north, or left, which is west, those are the two directions that we go closer to zero uh, for both x and y. And uh, down, which is south, or right, which is uh, east, we are going kind of away from the coordinates of zero, zero. So that's we are adding spaces. And uh, so uh, let me just, a little reminder. Keep in mind uh, the coordinates when going up or left. We check um, what we check is basically how would I word it? I'm not sure. We'll sh we'll just check against the zero coordinates and uh, down or right we check against the the max coordinates which is the, the the size of the board which would be 20 we check against size which is default 20 of the game board all right so um, you have to keep that in mind when we are actually uh, what how do we validate these these moves to make sure that they are correct? So, if the uh, direction is the north, or directions that directions that north, and so if we are going north, and the uh, our current position x. Since we are going up, we are deducting spaces, so minus spaces. If this is less than zero, then we are off the board, all right? Because zero is the minimum uh, we can we can be. Uh, so we will call our messages that, and I'll call invalid uh, an invalid move message. And now. Uh, let me see how those messages are. Invalid move. Okay, so I want to actually do how many spaces I can move. So let's do uh, let's do this. The uh, I will pass the uh, direction, so I can I can actually word out or display what direction I'm going and how many spaces I can I can go. So I will do. Invalid move, direction and position x. So let me go to the uh, to the messages and uh, and kind of format that. Uh, so our invalid move will expect the all directions that directions, and again I'll call it direction, and it expects the integer spaces. So now I can come over here and say invalid move. You can only move. Uh, and I will do you can only move how many spaces to the let's say in this case north right if this is invalid move uh, to the north then we will say you can only move I don't know five spaces to the north or something like that so uh, we will do the spaces and direction into our placeholder So, uh, let me see. 
Oh, you know what? Because I, I need to format this. So I will do string dot format and I will format this whole message like that. Okay, so let's say we move in north and it's uh, we calculate in our uh, we validated up oh, you got too far too many spaces so we go to our messages uh, this uh, this one is called these arguments are passed and it will say in valid move you can only move uh, five spaces to the north or ten spaces to the north so whatever it depends on where we are the same is gonna be true for the all the other directions as well so uh, that will so we will display our message and we will return false because we are expecting a boolean value over here so if this validates is false it will only display the message and this move never execute so we will never update our uh, position because it was an invalid move in the first place so uh, let's do our else if uh, the uh, direction equals all directions dot directions east and the uh, since we are moving to the right we are doing the position y and the uh, position y and we are moving to the right which is plus spaces okay so plus spaces if this is greater now we are moving away from zero so if it's greater than game game board dot game board size which is 20 then we have an invalid move to the east so i will just copy paste this oh i forgot the once again and i just place these inside all right so that's our east so we have north east and it's gonna be that's gonna be um, uh, south right yeah, a little brain far there so south and if you move into the south then uh, it's just like the north except the north we are subtracting spaces over here we are adding spaces and checking whether this is actually greater than game board size not zero because we are going south right so um and finally if we are going west so if we are going uh, west then our position y is uh, just like when we go in east except minus spaces and we are checking unlike that we are checking uh, whether it's less than uh, zero because we are moving to the left okay so to the north we're checking whether it's less than zero um over here we're checking whether it's uh greater than game boards size over here too and west we are checking zero as well now if uh, none of this is, is true then we can actually oh, i already have that we can return true because that is a valid move none of them evaluated as a bad move now i'm thinking about one thing um so when we are moving north let me just quickly kind of imagine the position so it's minus spaces and uh, okay and the x so that's correct but when we are moving east since we are uh, in our messages uh, our messages is actually wrong over here we are passing for north we are passing direction and position x however for east this is wrong uh we are passing yes we are passing direction 
but not our position x. We are passing our game board size minus the position y, position y that like that, and minus one because uh, yes, and minus one because uh, we starting since we are moving uh, left and right. We need to uh, deduct one because we're starting from uh, from zero, uh, if I'm thinking correctly, and I think I am because we're doing the game board size, which is twenty, but it's actually only zero through nineteen, so that's why I have to deduct, uh, subtract uh, one. So, okay, over here I will do. We need to subtract minus 1 because size equals 20 by default meaning um, that the uh, meaning there are 19 well there are 20 indexes but it's uh, there, are, there are the indexes meaning the indexes are 0 to 19 but game board size would be 20 right so in order to display the correct one, we need to subtract one. And this is gonna be the same when we are moving uh, when we are moving south, because again we are moving from zero to nineteen. So when we are moving south, uh, a direction over here, it's gonna be the same thing. So it's gonna be game board that game board size minus in this case it's gonna be position. Since we are moving south, position x, but still minus one. And over here, when we move in west, it's uh, kind of like north. We are going uh, to the zeros, so we don't need to do the minus one. But uh, when we are moving uh, to the west, our, we are passing the position y, not the position x, like we do for the north. So I think this is uh, this is how it would work. Well, we'll test it later. So, uh, but we're almost there, very close. So um, stick around, and in the next video, maybe we'll finish it. Maybe not, but you'll never see if you don't watch it. So see you there.